NFL Week 6 Anytime Touchdown Props. We're coming off a 2-in-1 week where we also cashed a plus 265 long shot play. This week I'll be giving you my three favorite plays again, wrapping them up into a plus 517 pay dirt parlay and giving you a plus 205 long shot play. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a special offer to share with you towards the end of the video. But if you guys enjoy this content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel. Let us know in the comment section who do you have finding the end zone in week six. I love hearing from you guys. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you. So like I said, two and one in week five. Nico Collins and Jamar Chase both get the job done for us. Unfortunately, Jordan Mason uh, lets us down. But Tucker Kraft more than makes up for it. Plus 265 on the long shot. He actually scored twice. I wonder what the odds were on that one. But we are now 9-6 on official plays on the season. We're 3-2 and two on our long shot plays. And we have cashed 2 of 5 pay dirt power lays. Look to do it again this week. Starting off, we have like a 1A and a 1B this week. Starting off with Tony Pollard at plus 100. He scored a touchdown in 2 of 4 games. 16 plus carries. And 62 plus rushing yards in three of his four games. He's coming off a bye week, so we should be well rested, plenty of time to prepare. And what better offense to score against than this Indianapolis Colts? I'm sorry, what better defense to score against than this Indianapolis Colts defense? They've allowed the second most rushing yards, fourth most to opposing running backs. Tank Bisbee just ran over this defense 13 carries for 101, 101 yards and a touchdown last week so i expect uh the titans have struggled offensively i expect them to have some success against the this defense and i expect pollard to get the job done for us to start things off our 1b go to cd lamb here at minus 115 he scored in two of his last four games he's had seven plus targets 61 plus receiving yards in every game on the season brandon cooks just landed on the ir so we should see some extra targets in this game for Lamb. Lions, they're a surprisingly good matchup. Six most receiving yards allowed overall. Six most receiving yards allowed to opposing wide receivers. And Lamb torched this defense in Week 16 last year. Video game-like numbers. 13 catches on 17 targets. 227 yards and a touchdown. No surprise there. I think he had like a 92-yarder. In that game, this game also features the highest total of the week at 52. Spread only minus 3. And with the Cowboys being underdogs here, I expect a high-scoring game. I expect Dak to lean on Lamb and CD get the job for us done as our second. Kind of like our 1B. He almost made number 1, but I, 1B. Pollard and Lamb kind of right there with each other. Number 3, Josh Jacobs minus 140. He finally scored last week against the Rams. 19 carries for 73 yards. Good matchup here against Arizona. Uh, they've allowed the fifth most rushing yards overall. Third most to opposing running backs. And five rushing touchdowns allowed to the position. Christian Watson, Tucker Kraft. Both questionable. Romeo Dobbs coming off that suspension. So we've got to wonder how what his role is will be this week. Uh, Green Bay's favored here by 5.5. Got a pretty high total at 47. I expect the Packers to score plenty of points, and if they get in there close, Jacobs will get the job done for us. So wrap all three of these guys up. Plus 517, Tony Pollard, C.D. Lamb, Josh Jacobs. That's our pay dirt parlay this week. Before we do the long shot plays, guys, I wanted to let you know about that special I mentioned if you buy a month of all access plays over at Sports Memo, you get the second month for 99 bucks. Breaks down to only 536 per day. That's all access, includes 5% plays, all sports. You'll get the plays right when they come out. We are in action this week with a 5% NFL play. It is a player prop. And we are number one for NFL player props in 2024. Also have a 4%. Uh, college football play of the week. We've cashed our last two, three of our last four, and we're 15 and eight all time with those. If you're watching this video prior to Saturday, it's a later game as well. So I would encourage you guys to check that out. We'll also be in action 
in the MLB, plus 51 units in the MLB since mid-June. WNBA uh, playoffs, we're in the finals right now, only a few games left there. And then uh, if you get the two months, you're also going to have NHL and NBA action as well. I'm doing some write-ups and some video work for NBA stuff coming up, so look forward to that. As always, there's a link to my action in the pinned comment. But let's move on to that long shot. It's what, what we're all waiting for. I'm sorry. Brock Bowers, plus 205. He had eight catches last week for on 12 targets, 97 yards. He actually scored his first touchdown against the Denver Broncos. Devontae Adams, it doesn't look like he'll be playing. Samir White and Jacoby Myers, both questionable. Both have missed recent practices as well. So this Raiders team will be a little thinned out. O'Connell at QB. Uh, he's pretty mobile, so I think he'll, we'll see him lean on the tight end here. Uh, Bowers is a rookie. He leads all tight ends, though, in targets, receptions, yards. Now he faces the Steelers. They've allowed two touchdowns to opposing tight ends. The, mo the team with the most is only three teams that have allowed three, so it's a pretty high number this early in the year, and they haven't really faced the best tight ends either. Uh, Kyle Pitts and Ogletree are the ones to score against the Steelers' defense, so give us Brock Bowers at plus 205 for our long shot play. That'll wrap it up for this week, guys. Like I said, uh, link to my action in the pinned comment. Free plays always posted at X at Steve's Book 22, as well as at SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoyed this video on the way out, hit that like button for me. Good luck this week. Let me know who you like to score, and I'll see you in week seven.